we are living in an evil world that is under the curse of sin and anything could just happen in your life in your marriage in your relationship and so in today's video we are going to look at things that can damage your marriage if you don't take care of them you are welcome to my youtube channel asperia k Bogalaga. Give this video a like, leave your comment in the comment section, and let's get right into the video. A thing that could ruin your marriage is anger and abusive speech. You know, anyone can get angry, you know, because we married imperfect people. You married an imperfect man, and you are an imperfect woman. So any of you could annoy, you know, the other. But our attitude towards our anger can bring our marriages down. Now, God says in his word, in the book of James, chapter 1, when you read from verse 19 to 20, he says that we should be slow to anger because our anger does not produce the righteousness of God. Any decision, any words, anything that you do when you're angry cannot be nice because anger is a disaster when you continue also reading the bible you see in the book of uh, proverbs chapter 15 and verse 1 it says a soft answer turneth away wrath but grievous words stir up anger sometimes th things happen in your marriage and you know you cannot speak softly to your partner you feel you have to throw words and throw this and throw that and you stir up their anger eventually you find yourself fighting you find yourselves killing one another you find a lot of things are done out of anger and that cannot build a marriage we have seen so many people who have killed each other, who have broken each other's, you know, hands because they were angry and they failed to control themselves. As children of God, the good news is that God has given us his Holy Spirit who gives us a spirit of self-control. Every time you feel angry with your spouse, sit down and pray. Talk to God and allow him give you his grace. Because it says in Ephesians chapter 4 that we should not let the sun go down upon our wrath. So it's okay you can be angry, but do not let anger cause you to sin. So in other words, avoid anger and hateful, you know, abusive speech. Abusing your partner as if they have no value in your life. Every time you're angry, think about the times you loved one another. And God can help you to calm down. If you don't control your anger, your marriage is in danger. Number two, selfishness. Now, selfishness is a root cause of anger. You know, when a person is selfish, they only think about themselves. I want my way. I don't want to listen to their way. So you find that sometimes maybe men listen to their, themselves. They don't want any ideas from their wives. And so you find that you struggle. You cannot match at one point. You are always parallel. She plans this, you plan the other. She plans that, you plan the other. And you will never... So one of you is selfish towards the other. Selfishness is not a good act. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 that love is kind. And love is not selfish. You know, it does not think about itself. So in marriage, when you get into marriage, you are not I, but you are us. So when you're thinking about making decisions, don't consider your own perspective alone. Give it time. Think about what your partner feels. Think about what another person, you know, and then make decisions together. You know, a selfish person does not consider any other person. They spend time on anything they want. They don't care about their partners. They spend their money on themselves and what pleases them. They don't care about what pleases their partners. They, they do a lot of things. If you go to the market, you find some men, they want, if you moved with him, he sends you home and then he goes to a restaurant to eat. Because he feels you don't deserve lunch in, in a hotel. You know, that is selfishness. And in marriage, it cannot work. So God has given us his love unconditionally. And he wants us to exercise the very love to our partners. 
do to them what you would want them to do for you and your marriage can thrive three sexual immorality or infidelity now sexual immorality even in assault can affect your marriage because god says even when you think about lusting after a woman when you think about just thinking about it you have committed it so if you're a married person stop lusting after other women or other men even in your thoughts the secret chats that you do with your other women other men god sees them and the devil can use that to bring down your marriage married people sit somewhere and start watching pornography doing masturbation and all things thoughts of sexual immorality and they can ruin your marriage because god uh, because the devil wants to use any opportunity to break into your marriage when you enter into an extramarital affair you cannot deliver the best to your family to your wife to your children even to yourself because you will be hiding this and that you will be not free and remember all unrighteousness is sin all unrighteousness is sin anything that does not please god anything that is not good is sin and so if you are engaged in any form of immorality any extramarital affairs you are sinning against god and that can ruin your marriage we've seen so many strong men of god and women of god strong couples that have been faithful to each other become broken because one of them went into an extramarital affair we don't see anywhere in the bible where there was a polygamous family which was happy every everywhere we see polygamy we see trouble we see fighting we see killing each other so do not enter into such a mess number four bitterness and unforgiveness bitterness is unresolved anger and resentment things that you have kept in your heart from one year to another year you know you keep referring to them now in marriage bitterness is very dangerous it can kill marriage in just a no time because you will always have a negative attitude towards your spouse because you remember what the bad things they did to you you always say, the other time you did this the other time you did when when a middle of a conversation the other time you did this you know it means you have not healed your heart over that and you cannot give the best treatment to each other now god says in the book of ephesians chapter 4 and verse 31 that let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice so god knows how hard bitterness can break marriage and so he says let all of it be put away out of your heart any trash any anger anything that is in your heart that you've kept for a long period of time it's not worth it flee your heart if there's anything that you want to resolve with your spouse sit down resolve the matter do not keep it in your heart because it will burn you and eventually you also affect people that are around you that includes your spouse your children and you know your whole family will be in shit and so Ephesians 4:32 says and be tender hearted you know be kind tender hearted just like Jesus showed you mercy and grace he wants us to show the same to other people that we have issues with so bitterness can kill your marriage flee from it now thank you so much for watching this video i believe you found it helpful and i know it can help you in one area or the other god bless you if you haven't yet subscribed consider subscribing like this video share it with your friend bye